So I've finished looking at this all-in-one exam guide, 9th edition by Sean Harris, and I've discovered that there's about 193 topics missing from this book. And for those of you who haven't been following along, I basically compared the list of new topics that are in the Common Body of Knowledge to the topics to the contents of the all-in-one book. And this analysis, I tried to be as thorough as possible, and I have to admit it's probably not perfect, but it's the best that I could have done. You know, I did try variations of these terms. I tried with dashes, and I tried searching for alternative terms, but these these new concepts just don't appear in the book. And so up here in the upper left that I've identified a total of 309 new topics altogether, and that includes the stuff that was included in the exam outline, the official stuff that we knew about. But I also identified additional terms and concepts that were not presented in the exam outline. And so I've identified 309 total, and there are 193 missing. Above column F is the percentage that they have covered. It's really interesting here to see both the disparities and the similarities between what Mike Chappell's book covered and what the all-in-one does cover and then what each book doesn't cover. And so I'm gonna put this full list on our website in the next couple of days so that you'll be able to see it. And uh, at some point, I'll probably open up this spreadsheet for everyone to take a look at and either make a copy for yourself or maybe just even edit. I don't know, honestly, if I have the energy or the patience to do the next book. This official ISC squared CISSP CBK reference sixth edition. It just, it's, I mean, first of all, it's only 600 pages, right? So I don't even know if it's worth looking at, but maybe when I have some spare time, I'll go ahead and dive into that one. Basically what I did was I put a one or a 0.5 in the column over here if the topic was covered or even just partially covered. If I scroll to the bottom, you'll see that I have the total number of items that are covered. I've tallied them up, and then that automatically feeds into the formula that I have here at the top, which shows the percentage. And so what I plan to do with this is I will probably contact the author and the publisher as well on this one, but I guarantee that they're not going to do anything. There's no reason for them to do anything, right? I mean, I don't think it's the author's fault. I think it's ISC Squared's fault, and it's possible that ISC Squared is doing this on purpose. They're probably giving these outdated or maybe just incomplete materials to these authors in order to increase the sales of their official training, their $950 training. It's hard to say. So what should you do? Again, my advice is to not buy the books. These books are just not thorough. They're not comprehensive. And, you know, I'm not saying this because I'm selling a book. I don't sell any books. I'm not an author. I don't have a dog in this fight whatsoever. I just think that this is some kind of discrepancy that needs to be resolved between these authors and ISC Squared itself because it's really not doing you the student, the candidate, any any justice. It's not doing you any service. And so, so I don't know what the solution is other than to just not buy the book. So once again, I will try to post this on our website over the next couple of days, and I will try to open this document, this spreadsheet up for comments. Anyway, thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.